Hello everyone, I'm going to quickly show you how to install MobXtream and get uh, Cadence Virtuoso started. Uh, so first things first, to access uh, the, the VNC server on MobXtream, you need to be either at BSU or you need to have a VBN that basically makes it look like you're at BSU. So if you are going to be in campus doing this, you don't need the VBN. But if you're going to do it from home, and I recommend installing the VBN so that you have this convenience. And we can go to vbn.bdx.edu. And here we'll go for three, and then you write your username and your password. Now, if you click login and nothing happens, it means that you don't have a do factor authentication or something like that. So if you try to log in and nothing happens, you will need to do this. But you should try it first. So if this happens, you need to go to Auden, uh, bdx.edu. You're gonna need to sign in here. And you will need to go to manage do settings. You have to set this up to be able to access this here. Now, actually before this logs you in, you're gonna get a call or a text. For me, it's a call, and I'm going to um, answer this call right now. If you were not expecting this call, please press zero to report fraud. Otherwise, press five on your phone to log in. Thank you. Goodbye. All right. So now we're logged in, and we need to download uh, this Cisco VBN. I already have it, so I'm actually not going to do this one here. But then we need to get MobExtreme. And as you see here, I don't really need to follow any links, you can just um, Google this. We need the free edition. And um, I'm, I'm not going to use the portable one, I'm going to use an installer one. And I'm going to install it very quickly. And then I'm going to open it. All right, uh, I need the VBN and then we can uh, start the terminal. Now I'm going to get another call or text and I have to allow this. All you have to do is to answer and hit five every single time. Now we're going to start a local terminal. SSH, you write your uh, username at mo.ece.bdx.edu and it should log me in. You have to make sure you're connected to the VBN before you do this or you're on Canvas. All right, here we are. Uh, it might ask you to set up a password or something, but um, next time you do it, it won't ask you for anything. And now we can just say VMC server. It says here localhost 5902. All right, so actually we also need to add packages the first time you use this. So we're going to add say add package package. And then it's going to take us here. We need to install both cadence 171 and cadence 181. You just hit the space and make sure they are both they both have an x and then okay. And that's it. Uh, we can go back to the VNC. So I'm going to go through this session here. VNC local host, and this was 5902. It has to be that same number we get here. And then we have to go to network settings. This is H gateway. Um, here is mo.ece.bdx.edu. I suggest just putting this in. Don't change anything. There's another one that will work, but just, just put this one in. And then your BDX username. Everything else stays the same. Okay. Okay. And here we are. Now, um, it's here. It's this localhost one. You can always open it from here. I'm going to put my password. It might ask you to set up a password the first time. Otherwise, it's just going to be... And I'm sorry this is jumping ahead, but um, I'm going to assume that this is not here. You're starting from scratch. Okay, so here we are. Now we need to get this free BK file here on Linux. 
one way to do this would be to uh, open the internet browser here and download it. I don't like doing that myself. I don't have it here either. Okay, so how do we get this file in here? You have to go back to this terminal. Go back here and then I, I have it here, but it's not really here. Okay, do you see this on the side? So we're going to open the... You go to Canvas or wherever you download the files from Canvas. Go to Lab, download the file on your own computer and then just drag it like that and drop it here. Remember, you cannot be in localhost, you have to be here. And just drop it here. As you see down there, it's uploading. And now this file is here. Okay, now we go back to localhost. Here is our file. Let's drag this file and put it on your home file. It's going to be your username. It's home. And uh, it shouldn't do this because it shouldn't be there. But it's going to be here. And then we're going to extract here. All right, so now it extracted this file here. We can open this file, open this file, it's just select all, cut, go back, just paste it all here. Then we don't really need this or this, so we can just delete this. All right, so here we are. Now we have this file here and we are all set. Now right click, open in terminal. There are so many ways to go about this. My suggestion would be, um, so you go on Canvas and you look for that tutorial uh, file. It's going to be this one. I changed it into a PDF just because I like working with PDFs more. And then you can just literally copy paste. Copy and here right click paste, enter. And then again, copy, paste. Now this command will create a, fo a folder here with the name cadence 525. And then you just keep doing this. I don't like doing this. It's better than having to write it down, but I'm going to show you something much easier than doing this every single time. But first, let's just do them. You can do these at once. And this is the last one for Tuzu. I have to click enter here. And here we are. Now we just wait. Takes a minute. All right, here we are. We have to make sure that we see these two options here. Because if we did anything wrong, we will not get this NCSU uh, option, the two of them. So this means that we did everything correctly. Now, I'm going to show you a much easier way to do this. I'm going to close everything. And then we can open the terminal again. See, it's really more convenient if you just create a, a text file and put everything here. Copy, literally just copy it, all of it, all at once, paste. You're done. You just need to hit enter at the end. And it opens. Actually, if you put the enter here, you won't need to put it there. But anyway, this does it. It's that easy. Okay, so as a quick recap, to put the, fo to, to put the file here, you don't need to download it locally from here. You can just drag it. You have to be here and you have to drag it here. And then you take this zip file into your home folder, extract it here, move everything to this main file, open in the terminal, copy paste this whole thing here and that's it now in the description to this video i'm going to put the links to download the vbn to download mobile stream as well as this so you can just copy paste this from my description now every time you open this you don't need to do all this because obviously this has been created already you can start from here it's gonna do the same thing let's give it a try But even if you put the whole thing, like if you put this whole uh, thing in, in the terminal, it's still going to work. It's just going to say that this directory has been created. This directory is gets created here. 
So anyway, I hope this was helpful and let me know if you want me to make another one for the rest of the tutorial. Have a great day.